Hi, my name is Chris Walker. I'm the National Agency Director at Acorus for the Lifelong Learning Programme. Just going to update people on uh, the latest developments in relation to preparing for the new programme and to give a bit more detail and update on the uh, video blog that we released a little while ago. There's negotiations going on between the European Parliament, European Council, European Commission, hoping to get an agreement um, by the autumn. So it's uh, adopted uh, September, October time, ready for a launch for uh, next year. So there's a lot of preparation being done by the Commission, so we know um, what the structure is going to be, the sorts of activities that are going to be able to be funded, uh, the nature of the projects that are, be, uh, that are going to be funded. Um, so there's a lot of detail which we, we do know, and the Commission's been very open and been consulting with people on how the new programme's been developing. It's a much uh, simpler structure of the programme. It's a unified, integrated programme. There's just three key actions, which is a big rationalisation from the current programme, which has 30 or 40 actions. Uh, three key actions. First one is mobility of uh, learners and of, of, of uh, teachers and students. Second key action is around strategic partnerships. Uh, and the third key action is around policy dialogue, so the, the direct relationship uh, between uh, activity on the ground and policy development. And within that there's decentralised and centralised actions uh, and as currently is the case the national agencies within each member state will run their decentralised actions primarily for key action one mobility, key action two strategic partnerships but there'll be an, a number of centralised actions uh, as well uh, and they'll be run uh, from, from the Commission and its executive agency from Brussels. Really, a lot of the activity will just stay, stay the same. So a lot of the activity that's funded under the current LLP programme you'll be able to find in the new programme just in a much simpler uh, structure with a much simpler application process, a unified uh, electronic application form, uh, a lot less bureaucracy uh, and a unified process across all the different sectors. So from HE to adult education to VET to schools, all following similar uh, uh, application process and, and rules as well. So currently you can apply as an individual to do a mobility for example so one of the uh, changes in the new program is that all the projects will be, need to be led by an organisation so a much stronger organisational basis and the, the flip side of that as well there's new opportunities for those organisations to embed the European dimension in their own organisations and have a longer term impact really because the Commission is very keen to show that this, uh, the programme is having an impact and to measure that and to demonstrate that impact. There'll be a general call, probably October, November time, and the programme will go live from the 1st of uh, January next year, 2014. So we'll be posting news and updates on our blog regularly as, as news comes out from the, from the Commission.